Good morning, Internet. My name is Jet. Welcome to my channel. This is a part two. So, if you love love, God is no respecter of persons, okay? So that means we cannot be respecters of persons. What that means is judging somebody for the identity that they have in their earthly, mortal body. So if somebody is rich, okay, and somebody is poor, you don't help the rich person more than you help the poor person. If someone is a man and someone is a woman, you don't help the woman more than you help the man or, or whatever. He's no respecter of persons. And we have to practice that because in our fallen, less than perfect, animalistic format that we're in, our minds and our bodies, they think that they're a person. They think, they think that all of these things are the truest truth and the realest real of all of reality. There's money and there's nice clothes and there's all these different things, but it's not the truest truth of the nature of reality, okay? So we have to stop being respecters of persons and start being respecters of spirits, of spirit life force soul energies, okay? of a soul, someone who has a soul. We need to help the other souled individuals come to the saving knowledge and understand, um, understand we need to be love-based living individuals. We need to function from love. We need to use our life, create a life lens that we look at life through, through the lens of love and when I say love and God is love and one John four clearly states that God is love. And if you don't, if you know love, then you know God. So even if you, you don't understand Christ or, or, or any, anything like that, if you know love, then you know God. And this is the track that you need to be on. This is the correct path for anybody who understands love that values love at all. So it is freezing out here and I'm losing all my light. So God is no respecter of person. We have to try to not be respecters of persons. And um, people don't care unless it's happening to them. You need to be a love-based living individual and function from the lens of love to trade your old spirit and your old heart for a new soft loving one because it's how you have joy, peace, contentment, kindness, self-control, patience it's how you have all things good being the anti-love is not going to bring you the fruits of love so with that much love and many thanks and i love you thank you